Well, hello everybody. It is Monday morning. It's time to run you through the markets, see what's going down. The markets and more. Other interesting snippets this week, I'm sure. Um, Peter, where do you want to start? I want to start with balloons again. Because... Good call. <laughs> Good call. Although they may not be balloons. This time last week, uh, or just before this time last week, the Americans had never shot down anything over their own airspace. Hmm. And now they've shot down four things. Yeah. One which is uh, believed to be a Chinese weather balloon. And the three other things, people don't really know what they are. Yeah, they're, they're conspicuously not saying that they're not UFOs. Yeah. But you see, China also came out and said, Oi, you sent 10 balloons over our country in 2022. Yeah. And I'm here thinking, like we talked about last week, well, what's wrong with a satellite? What's wrong with a satellite? But apparently, <laughs> balloons are good, easier to intercept comms. Yeah. Uh, and until recently, hence the news stories, hard to spot on radar. Because they're uh, very slow. Very slow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but now they've uh, readjusted a lot of settings, so they can see them. But you can't control a balloon, can you? You can. Apparently, they, you can put little things a on them. Like t- little motors or whatever. That yeah. Goes, move you in and out of the jet stream. Yeah, if you wanted to try and hold a position. But yeah, no, you are at the mercy of the... Balloons, the can't wind. stand them. Never, to be honest, I didn't like it when Richard Branson was in one. I thought that was all a bit of a... Yeah. I don't like the idea of being... Classic underneath spoof. something that you don't have control of. That just seems a bit strange. Well, the sky. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I hate to point I, it out, but we all live like that, Peter. You, it's uh, yeah. one of those things. So I'll tell you, so you went to balloons. I'll tell you where I'm going to go to. Are you gonna I'm go? going to say trains. You know trains. I'm going to say trains because most of you watching this will know that the British, we make a fair number of clangers as a, as a nation. We procure things badly, etc. But I couldn't help but notice that this weekend I had a bit of a giggle as 258 million euros worth of trains turned up in Spain right. were put on the tracks and then somebody realised that they didn't fit in the tunnels. Oh. No joke. They did not fit in the tunnels. So they all the trains have got to go back and be sort of shrunk a bit because they physically don't go in the tunnels. That is... A literal truth. Who made those? I, I don't know who made them, but they were. Um, they were. It, it, it was. It's described as being an unspeakable botch. Spain spends 258 million euros on trains that are too big for its tunnels, too big to pass through its rail network. Now you would have thought somebody would have <clears throat> tested that, right? Yeah, but... you would have thought so. You would have thought that that is not easy to recover from, because <sighs> all of the. When you say, like, oh, we're going to send them back for a little bit of yeah, rework, that's I no, don't think so. No. I think you mean you're melting them down a site and again. But talking of not testing things, Google. What the heck went on there? You've got to ask it a simple question, dude. Make sure it's going to answer. <laughs> Google that, Bard should surely I, have got that answer right. It should have got that answer right. But I was reading something at the weekend, and you're a, a bigger AI man than me, that says... AI is prone to doing these sorts of things. Oh, yeah. There, there's a, there was a question that said, which is the best economics book of all time? And it came back with such and such and such and such by these two people. It wasn't a book. Oh, no, it had it, never it, been written. It, it had yes, never yes, been written. Yes, yes. They were um, academics who spoke about that a lot. They had, authored, <laughs> they had authored papers on that subject, and other people had put growth and economics in the thing, yeah. and it just come back and goes, blum. And I guess that's a sort of a, a downside. There's a lot of upsides to AI. But it, uh, we had this discussion last week. How could you really test it? You can't check every single response no, no, it comes no. up with. The whole point is, it's doing something so you don't have to look at it. It's about it. supervised yeah. supervision. If you don't have supervised AI, you've got major yeah. problems. <laughs> it's the same as Tesla self-drive, right? The reason that self-drive is not a thing and people keep saying, oh, Tesla self-drives. Teslas do, they sort of self-drive. Yeah. But... Without the supervision of making sure your hands are on the... Uh, yeah, keep your hands on the wheel at all time. You love to lose your head if you run into the back of a lorry yeah. at 90 miles an hour because the sun is in the wrong angle. But the point being, as you said, Google Bard, they bring it out. They, th- <laughs> they feel like they're on the back foot because obviously Microsoft have got an yeah. 11 billion investment in chat, chat GPT. Three questions. Nobody checks the answer to the three questions before they take it to the PR demo. No. And the, the share price crashes 8%, 10% at one point. 
I mean, $100 billion because negligent. nobody... That is negligence. Someone should get fired for that. Well, well, the point is... Someone should get fired. Every time I've ever done a demo like that, and I've done a fair number, you never use live software. <laughs> you basically use... You, you, the Slide, only thing, slideware. The only thing it can respond to are the three questions yeah. that, that, that you've put in. There are no other answers in there. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. no other questions you can ask. It's all press F1 and it types out the exact... Yeah thing you want you press enter and it gives you the exact response you want is that so you don't lose like a hundred billion dollars it was because yeah <laughs> because we didn't even want to get fired from the banks because you just wanted the answer you knew you wanted it to give right that was it yeah. it's as simple as that but so ai has great things to offer but uh you know as you say it has to have some level of supervision otherwise if you're using it for search, I mean, it could give crazy results. You talk about sort of filter bubbles with social media because yeah. you only like what you like and follow these sort of people and it keeps, you know, reinforcing what you see. I mean, AI could be twice well, as Well, and as those that. algorithms are dangerous. There was, again, a really interesting article yesterday that covered the dangers of AI algorithms. Yeah. Where a woman set up a thousand fake teenage girl profiles for TikTok. Right and randomly just went on and clicked on a few videos, the average time it took to sh start showing her videos about suicide, six minutes. That's ridiculous. And that is absurd and obscene. Yeah. And that's why, yeah, 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 yeah. I, and I, I agree with Elon Musk, AI is a huge threat to humanity yeah, yeah. because you've got people going down these yeah. tightly controlled yeah. rabbit warrens. And, of course, it's the same thing with, um, same thing with AI in trading, right? So mm -hmm. we've got AI in our products, but it's highly supervised AI yep. and used in a very specific area yep. with human rules around it. Yep. You're replicating what a human being would do. At no point would I ever say, here's some AI, let's let it go trade, yeah. because it could quite easily conflate yeah. one thing with something completely different and go... <laughs> would not uh, be good. Would not um, be good. And go crazy. And on to the market. So we had a bit of a down week uh, last week as people sort of absorbed the... Uh, interest rate rise from the week before and last week was also you always always get this sort of week of speeches after the um, FOMC meeting so we had uh, Fed's it's a very Powell, dull week actually <laughs> and then Waller I can't even be bothered to log Ballard on and listen to them yeah but you know market down sentiment coming across a bit more hawkish as I said to you earlier on today I had something on Bloomberg this morning some people now saying that you know, to get inflation down to two percent could take until twenty twenty five. Yeah, that's a, that's a long, painful drag um, yeah. for people. It's but like you know, two with years. The, yeah, with quite the, literally two years, literally of misery two years, because... and with the inter but with the jobs data running super hot, like we saw, yeah, yeah, week before last. Not surprising, right? Not surprising. Well, it isn't, and also that you know, again. The other reason, certainly in the UK, why why do they are they begging for over fifties to go back to work, and why isn't it working? Because if you can't pay any money into your pension and you you're taxed out mm. of existence, why are you going to go back to work? That my chap who lives next door to me, really smart guy, he kind of worked out that if he earned a hundred thousand, after they'd taken fifty thousand in tax of the other fifty thousand, he doesn't need it. Yeah, he can't put it into his pension. He can't do anything with it. So. Yeah. Why is he going to bother? He'll just sit at home and ride his bike around around yep. here. You know, you, we've got some major economic problems to deal with. Mm. And I don't think anybody is going to grasp that nettle at the moment, from what I can see. No, and we're going down the whole road of sort of government subsidies again, aren't we? Sort of dressed oh, yeah. up as green, <clears throat> green sort of funding. So you've got yeah. the Inflation Reduction Act in the US. The EU have got very excited about that because they're saying, well, hold on, you're subsidising businesses. Um They've got one. China clearly have been doing it for years. Um, we'll be stuck in the middle without one if we're not careful. Yeah, yeah, we'll be the only but, ones um, that haven't got one. Uh, yeah. yeah, so you're, you're almost getting back to that era if we're not careful of protectionism. And, oh, yeah. you know, protectionism doesn't bode well for geopolitics or anything like that. No, not at all. You've got that going. I mean, there are some people doing some interesting things. I know, if you know that Octopus is an energy company in the UK. They've released the first heat pump that is the same price as a... Gas boiler. Have they? And that could 400, be a game 400% efficiency, which yeah. is about the same as mine. Yeah. My one, like yesterday, it was an okay day. Cost $5, basically, to heat the whole house for yeah. the day. Beautiful. Um, yeah, they've released one. Same same price. Yeah. They'll add it on to electricity. So I think people are starting yeah. to fill that gap. But that's what it needs. It needs innovation to do that kind of thing, right? Yeah, and the difference yeah. between Octopus and British Gas is what? 
I've got a genius leader rather than a. It's private. Yeah, it's private. Yeah, it's not it's controlled private. by yeah. somebody so that they can do has to things. Report to shareholders. Yeah, and they can do things that they know will have long term gain. Yeah, yeah. Whereas you know that whole share. And the guy thing. is super smart. He is a clever guy. Versus somebody who's trudged that, and you've you've done it. I've done it. Trudged yeah. their way up some boring corporate ladder. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. whilst you might be working with great people, fundamentally. Most corporates stifle innovation. They absolutely do. You know, they the structure. They put structures in place not to stifle innovation, but the byproduct of which is the byproduct is to control to the way that things are done. And obviously, depending on the industry, in energy is highly regulated. But anything that's very vaguely regulated, the the checks and balances you have to put in place just means yeah, yeah. that these things are. You know. It's why governments can't <clears throat> procure things because they're yeah. they're basically giant process machines with nothing. You get out lots, the other end. Lots of sort of you know managers and stuff in place, which brings me on nicely to Meta. Did oh, you God. see the memo from Mark Zuckerberg last week? He's brilliant. I refuse to read anything from the chief lizard. He said, <clears throat> "We only want contributors here." So basically, if you're not coding, that's basically what he said. If you're not coding, start coding or get a job somewhere else. Yeah, that's pretty much what everywhere is beginning to say now yeah. for those tech companies. Not just tech companies, companies that want to be tech companies. But they still need managing, don't they, those people? And uh, Yeah, in my experience, if you've got coders without managers, <laughs> yeah. you boy, you get a lot of code. Yeah, It just may not do what you want it to do or uh, anything like that. I, I, yeah, I don't know. And the whole world can't, can't end up being run by coders. It just doesn't work. No. No, oh, and I think, you know, the essence of what he's saying makes sense, right? You have a company and the core raison d'etre, core being for your company is this, then most people should be doing this. Okay, yeah. you're going to have other functions and stuff around it, but that's what you should be focusing on. I think Meta, along with obviously Amazon and Google, Apple seem to be excluded from this, uh, just hired way too many people over the sort of the pandemic, couldn't, yeah. on, couldn't onboard them fast enough. You know, of, by definition, I've now got too many, and then just having to offload them. But he's got the double whammy of people going to him. Well, do you really understand business anyway? Because your whole, you know, well, the whole thing, with, the business. whole thing with Meta is also that it's fundamentally gone now, isn't it? People, you know, certainly Gen Z and below have no interest in it at all. No, the core product, Facebook. No, clearly the the metaverse. People aren't the getting metaverse. very excited about. Um, yeah, it will be interesting to see how that one plays Have you been in the Metaverse? Uh, no, I don't like anything virtual reality. I get very, dis- I I get have, very dizzy. I it's probably my age. Head- I have actually put a headset on and there was no one there. It was just... Like, <laughs> I mean, people that say it's so it's so realistic, you... you mm, not really, because it's still quite pixelated. You could actually... I knew quite... Yeah. I quite literally knew I'd got a thing on my head. And yeah, I, was yeah, looking at yeah. it. I didn't actually think I was there. I mean, I've been in an Airbus simulator, though, that was, I mean, I'm guessing it must have been $20 million of the simulator. Mm. That you felt that you were yeah. but you were really it, flying. Sitting in something. You didn't know it on your head. Sitting in something, yeah. and it was giving you the full motion. And, yeah. But you still basically knew, if this all goes wrong, I'm not going to die. Yeah. Versus, if this goes wrong, I'm going to have a horrible last 10 seconds watching the yeah. Earth come towards me at 1,400 miles an hour. I mean, I think there might be something in it for gaming, and I'm basing that only on yeah. what my son said because he games, I don't game. Um, but uh, yeah, otherwise, yeah, maybe longer term. I, I, I just don't know, don't know, don't know. But you know, what we're seeing as well at the moment is people are pulling back from um, big tech, but we seem to yeah. be a lot of people pushing into smaller tech, and teeny we can, tiny tech, teeny tiny tech. A lot of anything we got AI in. So if you've got a company, put AI on the end. Um, dot AI. A lot of people investing. Dot AI for your domain name. Dot that's, AI for your domain name. Yeah, that's, absolutely. That's what people are uh, mad on. And yeah. people are starting to call it a bit of a junk rally now. It's the next big, oh, where can I make a buck quickly after the sort of the crypto? <laughs> I need to make it quickly. I've got to make it really quickly <laughs> after the crypto uh, boom mm. and bust. I noticed one of those companies last week got fined $30 million. Crypto, yeah, start oh God. starter as a service. Look, they're all yeah. they're all there. I mean, it's it's like the crypto rally that's <clears> taking place at the moment. It it simply doesn't make any sense to. No. But do you know what people are going to do? We had junk bonds. Um, you know, you yep. must remember Michael Milken in. Yep. When was that? Yeah, that yeah, would have yeah. been nineteen eighty, like eighties, eighty eight, something. Was it? 
But even before that, maybe 80, maybe 85, 86. Do you remember those guys where he used to have the all of the T-shirts in uh, his business, which was about 500 metres from where I worked in London? Everybody wore T-shirts that said, the man who dies with the most money wins. Oh, yes. <laughs> that, was their, that was their big thing. <laughs> that was his big phrase. And ended up with a... Did he get seven years in prison for I selling can't, can't more than... I mean, it was more than junk people yeah. selling. It just basically vaporised and... Um, yeah, he got done for not selling what it said on the tin, yeah. wasn't he? Which is exactly what this crypto thing has just been done for yeah. in the US. So yeah, basically saying me. you'll get a 21% return, uh, which should have been a bit of a warning bell, let's be honest. Um, but they weren't saying what it was invested in <laughs> or yeah. how it was going to make the money. What, was, what the a surprise. We, we can't tell you. It's so secret. We can't tell you how we're going to make yeah. the money. Oh, look, the, the, man since time began has looked for... Yeah. Look for simple arts. It's a thing we cover quite a lot. We mm. we'd say to everybody watching this, whatever you do, don't don't believe the hype. No. Just just see don't what is behind it. Ask to have a look. Ask to, and if they can't tell you what it is, it's like a lot of AI things. I, I worked for a while in Sand Lane, which is um in Palo Alto, it's the V the V C lane when I was Casanova's worked on that lane. And people would walk through the front door, pop plop up a five five slide pitch to say how they were going to take 50 percent of the the market or 10 yeah. percent of the market it was a multi-billion dollar market and they expected like hardened venture capitalists to believe it yeah and the irony is huge numbers of them did huge numbers of them did yeah it became a real spray and pray thing and like oh if, if, if you're investing in ai i have to and yeah they must and they must and that's of course why you've got so many problems now that a lot of these companies aren't even doing anything special no, just doing the same old, same old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a shame, but um... and speaking of returns, I see Adani has had to. <laughs> well, oh. apart from stumping up a lot of his own <laughs> personal money, <laughs> he hasn't got any personal money. That's the point. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's true. He's so, valued his house at a every, billion dollars, and everyone has gone. Oh, that seems like a lot, but we'll give you the money off. The everything back of is it. interlinked. Yeah. But he's now said, "Ah, um, so I'm revising my revenue forecast for the coming year." It's not going to be 40%. I mean, again, right? 40%. What sort of company makes 40%? Yeah. <laughs> Sales gross, gross margin. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. It's going to be 20% now, which wow. is still like super, super hot. Um, yeah. You know, tech level number, not like industrial conglomerates. No, there's no way. I mean, he owns, energy. Mark, he does the Mark Suspenser franchise, as I said last week yeah, in India. It's not You're those not kind making of things. a 20% no. return on that. It's physically <clears throat> impossible. No, no, no. Are people queuing up to give him money now? Are they just sort of... Well, I think he's got... It's a bit like the crypto thing, isn't it? Once you're in, and, and the VC thing, yeah, once yeah, you're yeah. in, you, you've, you've got to double down sometimes, even if you think it's not right, because if it crashes, you you lose everything. He loses everything, <laughs> and you lose everything, right? And, yeah, and your shareholders get really, and, really and, fed up. And this is the same with sort of zombie companies. There are a lot of zombie companies around from, you know, the VC growth around the sort of 2010 to 2015 yeah. which at the time had some you know great product market propositions didn't quite make it work but people just keep you know piling money into them they just keep raising more debt mm. more debt refinancing the debt refinancing the debt and you know the uk is particularly bad for these we know there's a lot of these around a lot of you know big brand names that people wouldn't know are, are you know zombie businesses that they just can just about pay back their loans and then that's it well, yeah, and I mean, a lot of them, as you say, that they're now beginning to... I don't know if you noticed over the week, lots of announcements in the UK of 10 retail stores being cl closed down here, 10 yeah, there, 10 yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. That seems to be the way it's done now with these zombie businesses, is they just kill, just off, kill off a few And they sort of shrink, 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 shrink to yeah. the point where they then say, now we can't, literally can't pay our loans. Yeah. But uh, there's always been a theory, hasn't there, that getting rid of zombie businesses is a good thing. But I wonder what percentage of the economy is actually zombie yeah. businesses. And if, it, if it's a high number, blimey, it could be really messy this next Well, this is years. the thing. And I think this is why a lot of them just drift along, sort of limp along, don't they? Because you crystallise the debt, don't you? You crystallise the loss as soon as you try and close it. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you literally, you, you're over. You, yeah. You've given nothing. Nothing's, up. nothing's happened. The only people who get any money are the lenders. No one else gets anything. Because um, they're obviously like top of the list. Yeah. It was the Super Bowl. It yes, was they, indeed, it? Yeah, and I, um, I stayed up until um, UK time, like one AM, and um, probably saw about six minutes of the game because it was yeah. all taken up with 
lengthy explanations of where the players came from and a, a huge segue into their celebrations. Apparently, it's the big oh. thing. If you if you've got a good celebration, it gets you TikTok views, which makes you more famous. Which makes oh, you, okay. I wouldn't have thought you needed to be more famous if you're an NFL player. Because Not if you're in the Super Bowl final. By definition, well, yeah. definitely, yeah. By definition, that's it, isn't yeah. it? Well, it's good to know sports the winner there then. Oh yeah, absolutely. But oh, I thought it was good actually. It's, I watched the highlights this morning. It was it, it was like very a gripping. Spectacularly good game. I did want the Eagles to win? Why? Because uh, I Rocky had a, and all that. No, it's purely because I had a when I was fourteen. I had a t-shirt, Philadelphia Eagles t-shirt. Oh, oh, that's very nice. Yeah. Well, I mean, I like Philadelphia. It's quite a nice. Yeah. Quite. A, did I tell you about the time I I did the Rocky Steps? Um, I ran up there. Dun, so I ran up dun, there dun. just for, yeah, exactly. I ran up. So I ran up the steps. Fell over. When I get to the bottom, no, there was literally. <laughs> I got to the, the top, and I thought, oh, there was no one to. Uh, there was just me and one guy, and this guy walked over to me. It's huge, huge um, African American guy, and said, "Oh, would you like me to take take your picture." So I said, "Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Thanks." Gave him my gave yeah, him my camera. I can see where this he going. takes the picture, and he said that'll be ten dollars. <laughs> I gave him the ten dollars. It seemed like yeah. a sensible move at the time. But yeah, it was. But actually, there's uh, there's an upsell to that picture. one. Basically, get you around the bottom and then nick off with your phone. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't do that. No, he's a very nice guy. I, well, I just people just, doing that every day. You can make a fortune. In <laughs> I reckon he spent his whole day sitting there waiting to go. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I quite like Philly. Yeah. Favorite city in America, though, definitely. New York. Kansas City, though. You know where is it, right? It's good Missouri. Job. Good job, good, good, job. good job. Uh, Trump's no longer president. <laughs> that's right. He, he thought it was in Kansas. He did think it was in Kansas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's supposed to be a strange place, Kansas City. Uh, but on that note, there's well, a not surprised because it doesn't know where it's supposed to be. It doesn't right? know where it's supposed to be. A bit of an identity crisis. Yeah. It's transitioning. It will be in California soon. Oh, it's non-binary. Oh, yeah. Christ, we'll probably find about five and a half million people. I was going to say, we'll get more views for this than ever before, <laughs> but we'll also be slaughtered and killed. And on that... Um, Politically correct, mate. We should say, regardless of who you are, gender, any other thing you want to identify. And I'm awesome with this. Goodbye from me. Yeah, and uh, looking out for the CPI data tomorrow. That's your key data point for this week. Tuesday, US CPI data. It doesn't make any difference. <laughs> Cheers. Bye. Bye.